show you how to set up a workflow in Formstack Forms so that only certain people see certain parts of this form. So at the top, you'll see next to build and style a tab called workflow. Go ahead and click on that. So now we have our entry step and we can name this new member questionnaire. And we're going to add the sections that they are going to fill out. And so this would be our first workflow section. If you had more than one section, you would select the other one as well. But for now, we just need this first one here. And under the logic tab, we need to add some, but we can't yet. So we need to add another step. This one will be internal use onboarding call notes. And if you want login to be required, you would leave this toggled on or you can leave it off. And then you can select who fills this out based off either them being a form stack user or from a field on your form. In this case, I'm just going to select a form stack user. And then again, under sections, I'm going to select the internal use section. But I also want whoever fills this part out to see the new member questionnaire. So I'm also going to select the first section and I'm going to make this a section that someone can view versus edit. And now we're going to go back up here to step one and we're going to add a logic rule. And the first one is going to be based off the onboarding call question. And if it's yes, then I want the next step to be step two. But if it's no, then we'll just complete this workflow. So now that we have that all set up, we are going to save our settings and we're going to publish our workflow. Now, in order to make any edits, you'll have to unpublish it. So let's go ahead and view our live form. And you'll see when I select on different answers here, I get a different follow-up question. And if I select that I would like to do an onboarding call, I can book that here. And if no, I can say, why not? So I'm going to go ahead and select yes. And then submit this form. And now back in Formstack, if I go to submissions, we'll see I have an in-progress workflow. So now that I selected that I wanted to book an onboarding call, it then went on to the next part of this workflow, which would be the internal use section of my form. So if I head to my inbox, I'll see that I have an onboarding workflow task. And so once that onboarding call has happened, I can go and visit that workflow and I can see the answers that were filled in by the member. And I can find myself from this drop down menu, select the date that it happened. and add my notes and click submit form. And now that task has been cleared from my workspace.
In the next video, I'll show you how you can customize confirmation emails depending on how someone filled out the form.